and welcome to the Tampa Bay History Center. My name's Amanda and I'm the Programs Manager here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Florida Pioneers. So I'm going to take you back to a time before theme parks and before our state was densely populated. So if you want to follow me to our cabin, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how their lives might have been different than our lives today. The first thing I want to talk about is education. So if children were old enough, they might have gone to school, right? So oftentimes these schools would have been for every child in the town, but if there weren't a lot of children or a town wasn't very populated, you might have been taught at home by your mother. So education would have been pretty different. Um, they might not have learned as much about history as we do today, but they would have definitely studied reading, writing, and math at school with their teachers. Also for younger kids that weren't school age, they might have played with uh, with dolls. So while the dolls might have looked like this, they would have been made out of these corn husks, right? So they were a little bit different than maybe the glass dolls or some of the dolls that we have today that are made out of plastic. Okay? They also would have used wood burning stoves instead of some of the gas or electric stoves that we have today. So the way this would have worked is there would have been wood in the bottom here, they would have set a fire, and then they could have cooked their meals on something like this, right? So you'll notice that it's made of it's made of this sort of strong iron, right? So again, there wasn't really electricity for Florida Pioneers. They couldn't have something plugged in. So all of this would have been self-sustaining with, with a fire once the fire was started. So we all enjoy butter, right? But could you imagine making your own butter? So this is an example of a butter churn. So this would have been used by Florida Pioneers, okay? So they would have had their milk in the bottom here. Now keep in mind, the Florida summers can get very hot, which can make churning butter pretty difficult. Those high temperatures aren't necessarily the best conditions to churn butter. So this might have been a really difficult chore. I also want to point out this contraption here. So this is a candle mold. So they would have had, again, they couldn't have electricity. They didn't have electricity, so they couldn't turn on their lights, right? There weren't lights to turn on. So they would have used either oil lamps or candles. So candles would have been used or would have been made with a wick made out of cotton. So they might have used cotton or sometimes Spanish moss even. And they would have dipped the wick into some sort of beeswax or even animal fat, right? So in the end, candles would have looked like this. This mold would have made things a lot easier. So you could have placed your wick and then filled it with whatever beeswax or animal fat that you had to, to make your candles. And they would have all popped out looking like this. This could make, this specific one could make about six at a time. There were smaller ones, there were larger ones. The last thing I want to point out is actually in this case here. So this is a spindle. So all of the clothes would have been made by uh, the mothers in the family. So it was really important that the mother had this, this skill because that was how uh, the men dressed and all of her children dressed. So it was a really important part for, for the mothers was to be able to sew or to be able to make their own, their own uh, materials to have clothing for their families. Um, so as you can see, Florida Pioneer Life would have been very different from the life that we have today. You can learn more about Florida Pioneer Life here at the Tampa Bay History Center. You can also visit our website at tampabayhistorycenter.org and follow us on social media at Tampa Bay History. Thank you.